Hi, I'm Sharon Tang and this is Making the Call. Now over the weekend, the Star reported that MISC and Bumi Armada are looking at consolidating the FPSO businesses, FPSO standing for Floating Production Storage Offshore. Citing sources, the report said that the exercise could see MISC injecting its FPSO business into Bumi Armada in return for shares, which means MISC could end up owning a substantial stake in Bumi Armada. Let's take a look at MIC first. It's a subsidiary of Petronas. Businesses include shipping, offshore tank terminals, logistics, basically shipping-related activities in the oil and gas sector. It owns six FPSOs. And now Bumi Armada, an offshore services provider controlled by mogul Tan Sri T. Ananda Krishnan. It's the fifth largest FPSO operator in the world. It owns nine FPSO vessels. Back to the tie-up. So just how big of a stake could MISC end up with? Hong Leong IB says we're probably looking at 61 to 64% of the enlarged offshore entity. But MISC is going to be exposed to the downturn in global energy prices since Bumi Armada has large fleets of OSV, that's offshore support vessels, and TNI assets, TNI standing for transport and installation. In the long run though, it means stronger financials to bid for new contracts. It's a buy for MISC. CIMB Equities Research, meanwhile, is optimistic but guarded on the deal for MISC at least. It says, conceptually, this deal is an opportunity for MISC to grow its portfolio of stable cash flow assets. This in an oil and gas business environment where growth is becoming a scarce commodity, but the pricing, it needs to be right. CIMB is retaining its ad call for MISC, target price 10 ringgit. On Bumi Armada's end, Public IB says if the deal does materialise, it would mean a status upgrade for the company. Remember, Bumi Armada already has 9 FPSOs. With a tie-up, it's going to have 15 in total, which means it would rise 3 ranks up to second largest FPSO company in the world. But earnings are going to be dragged by both OSV and TNI segments, so public is going to stay neutral on this one. Meanwhile, Kananga Research says if the acquisition is completed by the middle of next year, it would increase Bumi Armada's earnings to 647 million ringgit in FY16 from 400 million. In FY17, it's looking at 1.3 billion ringgit from 812 million. So near term earnings aren't exciting, but Bumi Armada's performance in 2017 a different story, as most of its upcoming FPSO projects are in full swing. Until Kananga gets more details on the deal, it's neutral on the news and keeping its outperform call on the stock. Very quickly now, let's pull up the intraday charts for MISC and Bumi Armada. At last look, MISC was down about 1.5% to 9 ringgit 19. Bumi Armada jumped on the news, it's up 8.5 percentage points and climbing. And that's it for Making the Call, I'm Sharon Tang, thanks for watching.